Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. I'm Chris the Girl. This is another episode of the Spooky Shopping Channel where we try to find everything and anything Halloween and fall related. So, today <laughs> we're going to be heading to Walmart. We're going to be heading to Walmart on a Saturday as of the time of this recording. So, everybody keep their spooky fingers crossed for me that we survive this trip. Um, but anyway, I thought before we headed over to Walmart, because I'm pretty sure they have a lot more Halloween stuff out now. Um, before we head over to Walmart, um, there is a Goodwill thrift store on the way there. So I thought maybe we would stop in and uh, see if they have anything Halloween in there yet. Um, doing antique stores and thrift shopping and stuff like that is definitely something that I'm, I'm very excited about. I want to do a lot more of. Uh, not just during the Halloween season, but like in general because it's one of my favorite things to do at least antiquing most I'm more of an antique kind of gal than a thrift store kind of gal um, But in any case I figured since it's on the way to Walmart We might as well just pop in and see if there's anything out yet if they're starting to put out uh, Some of their Halloween stuff. So I don't know we will see but anyway Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Happy Halloween everybody Let's get shopping and let's go. Specifically, this is the Goodwill here in Oldsmar, Florida. I've actually been inside of this Goodwill a few times before. When your fiance is Tampa J, you know, you've you've been places. You've been places. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head on inside and see what we can find. Gonna switch over to the good old iPhone. And check it out, we do indeed find, we have some Halloween in here inside of this Goodwill. This whole section in here filled with Halloween. Got a lot of stuff in here. Look at these cute little jars. Little gnomes on there. Oh, they got spiders as well. These are pretty neat. These are little candy bowls, little spider candy bowls. They have a black one in here and also a silver one. Okay, that's pretty neat. Lots of big bowls in here as well. Nice for uh, big old piles of candy for those trick-or-treaters or whatever event that you got going on. These are in here kind of nice too. More plain looking, but it's not a bad thing. Looks like some stuff that you could put inside of like treat bags or maybe for parties or something like that these are little things that you put in your mouth it looks like like little fangs or whatever got lights in here as well by the way not stating off the prices because i figure every goodwill every place every thrift store is going to be a little different so i don't know if it matters that much but yeah i got some halloween lights in here these are really cute set of four halloween burlap sacks those are always useful and of course you've got your rats in here too also very useful some of them have different little scarves on like this guy's got a little gray scarf on him this guy has a full-on vampire cape well that is adorable and then there's some in here that don't have anything they got these ones standing up here these rats laying down here they got a gray one a black one well i'll tell you what if you need some uh, fake rubber rats goodwill could be your place some cute little signs up here as well these are pretty adorable little wooden signs always good to have oh i like the little ghost one that's super cute some hanging decor in here these are pretty cool got some weird looking skeletons with gigantic heads the rubber bats are pretty neat and they have some hanging witches in here as well got a bunch of different capes and colors for them i like this one. Oh, and they have uh little trick-or-treat buckets these are really really useful they've got pumpkin ones and they have cauldron ones nice that's a good find actually yeah little plastic uh trick-or-treat buckets these are really cool to decorate around the house with there's some more things that you can hang up around your home looks like these actually light up they got a little pumpkin guy in here a little witch that's actually pretty cute and a little ghosty also some pretty cool spooky cookie cutters this one's actually like a, a zombie 
in there, which is pretty neat. You don't see that too often. Window clings. There's some pretty neat ones in here. Oh, and look at that. We found our first toilet cover of the season. That is hilarious. I definitely got to send a picture to Tampa J. He's gonna love that. They got giant spider webs. These are also great for decorating outside and such. They got a few different kinds in here. Little creepy cloths. That is always helpful too. And this is pretty neat. Uh, just a big plastic spider web and then little plastic spiders all in there. That's neat, I've, I've never seen that before, but that's definitely a good decor piece for sure. And they have some dog toys in here as well, some pretty darn cute ones. If your dog destroys toys, uh, Bella doesn't do that, but I've had a dog in the past that has destroyed toys. This could be a good place to pick some of those up. They have some bags in here too, drawstring trick-or-treat bags. That's actually really cute. These are good for, oh gosh, here we go, good as new. These are actually good for traveling and sticking like dirty laundry in. That's what I use uh, my drawstring bag for, personally. Yeah, they have them here at Goodwill, very cool. More hanging up stuff in here too, cute little witches. Yeah, adorable, good selection of Halloween stuff in here. Also these yard decor things, tinsel two stacked pumpkins a whole ton of them. A few more things on this end cap in here too. Looks like some ice cube trays. This little tray here, I'm here for the booze. Some molds slash bowls in general. And some spooky Ziploc bags, which is pretty darn cute. Okay. Yeah, a lot more than I thought that they would have, not gonna lie. So not the most stuff ever in that Goodwill, but they had more than I thought that there would be. So there is that. It kind of seemed more like stuff that you would find at like the Dollar Tree or Dollar General or whatever your dollar store is of choice. Um, nothing from what I could tell that was like previously owned, you know what I mean? Which is what I would expect from a thrift store. As I said, I'm not a thrifter. I, I'm not a thrift store person. I'm definitely more of an antique store person. And I've never been one of those people that's been able to go inside of these places and find the treasures. It is possible. I know it's a thing. My, uh, my future mother-in-law is a pro at it. So I, I know it's possible, but it, it was never my gift, unfortunately. But anyway, it's a great place to come if you are on a budget, if you're looking for Halloween decor, but you don't have a lot of money to do so. I saw some really, really cute, good, good, good stuff in there too that you can't really find, I haven't seen in other places, like those plastic cauldrons, those plastic little trick-or-treat things. That was, that was very, very tempting. Anyway, let's get out of the hot sun. Let's head over to Walmart. And before we get much further, I wanna say that this video's coffee, actual coffee, is thanks to Lou. Thank you so much, Lou, for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Cheers, I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, and indeed, I'm seeing a decent amount of Halloween in here, so we'll be, we'll be here for a while. I'll do my best to show you all the things. First of all, I kind of feel like this is sort of their version of their uh, bullseye playground, little dollar section sort of thing. Look how stinking cute these little bats are. They're adorable. They are $5 each. Okay, I like that. Also, we got this little house, spooky house in here. Looks like this is a tea light holder. That's pretty neat too. That one's $5. I've got some skulls back in here as well. These are like made out of some kind of, yeah, ceramic. Some sort of ceramic material, perhaps ceramic. I don't know. $5 for these two. And then look at these dang mugs. Holy moly, Walmart. Thank you for showing me the awesome stuff the second I walked in the store. So now I can look forward to things. $5 for these mugs as well. I like the skulls on there, but of course the matte black one with the spider web on it is easily my favorite. Some spooky glassware in here as well. Look how cute these are. A little death moth and an eyeball on that one. And then uh, moons on this one here. That's pretty cool. Are you $5 as well? 
you sure are. They've got little pumpkins and they got a lot of fall. A lot of fall in here. Banners, pumpkins. Ooh, here's some napkins. These are some good napkins in here. Really cute. And it's kind of funny because these are a dollar and I guess they should be because you get 10 napkins. It's not a lot of napkins. I don't know, I just think that's funny. If you only need 10 napkins, not a big old pack of them, but 10. Walmart's your place. They've got some stirrers in here that are really cute. Look at the little bugs. That is adorable. These are $3 and then they have these little ice bulbs in here too. Some signs in here, which please welcome, enter if you dare, trick or treat. Looks like these are five. Coffin charcuterie board. It's actually very, very heavy too and adorable. There's also some mats in here. So there's a spider web one and a trick or treat one too. Look at this little decanter in here. Actually, it's not that little, it's kind of sizable. That is really pretty. I like the moon and the stars. It's really cute. That one is $5. I also have all these little beakers in here as well. Really cute, I like it. Oh, and look at this little uh, thing here that you could use to put like, probably like hot food and stuff on, ceramic serving board. There is a matte black spider web in here and a tray with the moons and it has like a little flex on it as well. That is really dang cute, cute little tray. This one is $5 as well. Plastic trick or treat pails. We do love to see it. They are only $2 as well. Classic. You can't go wrong. Also, some carvable pumpkins in here. Looks like these are $10.88. Great craft projects. All right, Halloween candy. First time seeing it this season. All of the Halloween candy that you could possibly. Oh my goodness, there's a whole display over there whole Reese's Hershey's display. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very happy to, very, very happy to see this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it is on. It is on. On the edge of the candy aisle here, they have some really cute accessories. <gasps> Look. Oh my goodness, look at the little scarecrow dangly earrings. <gasps> Cute. I don't have any fall earrings. Oh, the scarecrows though. Okay, that is really cute. These are $4.88. We also have these ones here. A bunch of different kinds of chokers, necklaces. That's really pretty. Here's some more fall ones, like the little acorns on there. And we got some good options and some hair bands too. Oh, here's some more little accessories in here. Check, check this out. Ears, $7 for these. If you're definitely on a budget, look, those ears at Disney cost a lot of money. Come to Walmart and just grab these because these are cuter than any of the ears that I've seen. Honestly, they, they really are. That is adorable. Look at these little sticker earrings. If you grew up in the 90s like I did, this is probably giving you so much nostalgia right now like it is for me. I want to buy it just to just to have it again. And they're Halloween of course too, so you can't go wrong. Here's some more really cute trick-or-treat pails in here. And not just for like trick-or-treaters or whatever Halloween thing you're doing, but like, I don't know, you could use it for anything. Pails like this. It's always invaluable. They're clearly making room here at Walmart. They still have a few back to school things left in here. So goes without saying, but we will be back. There's some pumpkins on this end cap in here. Happy Thanksgiving. Cannot believe that holiday is coming up soon. I guess that's how a lot of people felt when they watched my June video and we were looking at Halloween, huh? Anyway, here's some really cute little crochet pumpkins. We have some lights out, just a few of them, not a ton. These are cute, little mini net lights. They have purple, they have orange. These are $7. They have, ooh, this, that's really cute. Orange, purple, green lights. A 
adorable. They have orange ones as well. Here's a few more LED lights. These ones uh, have 50 lights and they are $4. Halloween light up necklaces. Great to have for your for the kiddos, for the youth, for the people who are out there trick or treating. Safety first, of course. You might as well do it in style. They got a lot of really cute ones. These are really cute on this end cap here. Lanterns, clay lantern. This one is a cauldron. It's got some stars and moons on it. You put a light on the inside there. They're substantial. They're made out of clay. Very cool. They got a stack of two pumpkins in here too. And they're only $19.44 too. Oh no. And fall florals up the yin yang on this end cap in here. Oh yeah, and some more cute little headbands and scrunchies. Two really cute. Ooh, little scrunchies. Look at the little Minnie Mouse one. Well, that's adorable. And more fall over on this side as well. Yeah, they got the fall covered for sure. There's some really cute stuff in here. Just do a little pan here for you. Look at all the stuff. More cute little Halloween accessories in here too. These are light up pumpkin earrings. That is super cute. I like these ones as well. Ooh, they got a tinsel hair clip, Halloween hair clip. I would rock that. I'm not even gonna lie to you all. That one's five dollars. Actually, all of these are five dollars. They've got cute little tinsel scrunchies. Cute too. Look at this huge headband. Holy moly. And a few more light up necklaces down here as well. These are pretty cool too. These are uh, joggers, sleep pants. Eleven dollars for these. They're Friday the 13th. That's pretty darn neat. They're really soft too. Got a couple different ones in here. They've got a stitch one, which is really darn cute as well. Ooh, and a Barbie one. Well, how about that? Here's some of the women's shirts in here too. Just a bunch of Hocus Pocus and a little jack-o'-lantern. And you know it's for the ladies because of the eyelashes. Am I right? Not really. And there's this one in here too, which is kind of cute. And then this one that says boo. And holy candy arch, Batman. Love to see it. Makes me miss living in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Used to live there for a little bit. Loved their, uh, all the Halloween stuff that they do over there. Not just the candies too. Oh man. Why would you get normal Reese's when you can get pumpkin Reese's? Ooh, white chocolate ones. Oh man. That is, it, it's gonna be hard to decide. Also, have you all, do they legitimately make bat ones? I don't know if I've ever seen those. I'm gonna have to take a look, see if we, are these it? Literally right here, oh my gosh. I've never had the bats. Now I understand that they all basically taste the same, like sugar, but I've never had the bat ones before, okay. Probably gonna have to grab these. Spoiler alert. Oh yeah, and in case you missed the announcement, finally got my candy corn the other day. Thanks to Tampa Jay, he picked me up some. I got some candy corn here too. I like the pumpkin ones, those are always my favorite. Oh, I almost forgot to show these too. There's some hanging decor in here too. Show me your spooky side. Hocus Pocus. Some fall ones. Hey boo. Happy Halloween killing it, which is pretty hilarious. And then a cute little ghost one. Get your sheet together. I see what you did there. Oh, and some more little accessories in here too that I didn't catch. Maybe we should go to Claire's. I haven't been there probably since I was a child. I guess probably for good reason. They've got some really cute stuff in here. Holy moly. Okay, well, maybe we'll do that at some point. Somehow I missed these two. I guess they're all kind of starting to look the same, but this one has some really good earrings in here. Sorry if you don't wear earrings. We've seen a lot of that today, but look how stinking cute some of these are. A witch hat, little ghosties. Walmart's the place to get your earrings, evidently. Really, really cute ones. Ooh, look at the bats. Adorable. Got some down here too, like the little coffins on there. Little owls with little witch hats on them. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, glow in the dark skeleton earrings. 
stop it right now. Walmart. These are super cute too. Found them over in the card aisle. Looks like they're from Hallmark actually with this cute little ghost, little pumpkin. They're just like little stuffed animals. Adorable. And the little bear here says happy Halloween. Oh, and look how cute this is. A whole pajama set for the entire family. You can all be skeletons. Well, if that just isn't the cutest thing I've ever seen, even the doggy can get involved. This doesn't look like a bat. This doesn't look like a bat at all. Final stop of the day, at least for this video, is gonna be the Dollar Tree. I know a lot of you love, love, love Dollar Tree, and they do have some really cute Halloween decorations in there, so I've actually been anticipating this moment for a while. So let's get on in there and check it out. Oh yeah, and I'm putting the Reese's bats inside of my purse. That way they can melt all over my purse and not my car. Lots and lots and lots of Halloween in here. Look at all of the cute stuff. Also got some arts and crafts over in this section in here. Cute. A little witch in the cauldron, that's adorable. Oh, look at this, chair cover. Little pumpkin share cover. Here's some cute little signs. Rest your bones, tombstones, cobwebs, Salem brooms, mystical brews, black cats. Those are really cute. Also got some ribbon, some days of the dead little signs in here. Also have some lights, which is always very, very helpful. 20 mini lights. These ones are orange. Window clings. These are always fun. This one's interesting. This is a wall decoration. It's got a huge spooky tree on there. Some fabric in here as well, which is always nice for crafting. Honestly, I didn't know that they sold fabric. That's pretty cool. They've got some good ones in here too, like the lime green with the kitty cats. They got some skellies, candy corn. There's a skeleton arm that you can stick inside of the ground. That's always useful. This is pretty cool, this wire witch hat. Could definitely once again do a lot of crafting with this thing. Fake flowers or well, truly, truly anything. Here's some treat stuff in here. These are cupcake wrappers. Oh, oh a cupcake wrap, I should say. So you just wrap it around a cupcake, I guess. There's a spooky house one and a that one in here. Oh, that is really cute. Oh no, it's 12 pieces. 12 pieces, okay, good. I was about to say, what? Also, they have some treat bags. Ooh, a couple different, different kinds. Welcome signs in here as well. And ooh, look at these little cups in here. That one's super cute. Pipe cleaners more stuff that you can paint, tinsel, Halloween tinsel, got a cute little witch hat, tinsel witch, witch hat, this little truck with two little pumpkins in there, and they've got a spider up at the top, some little signs in here too that are really cute, happy haunting, and these are neat, these are hanging decorations in here, they've got a skeleton and classic looking witch. Got plenty of rats in here as well. Rats are very popular. Cute. They squeak. Oh, cute. These little pumpkins are also pretty dang adorable. Ooh. And heavy too. It's cute. I like the little gold spider on there. And little tinsel guys in here. Little ghost. Little pumpkin. Got a Days of the Dead cat. A witch hat. Eyeballs. I like the eyeballs, that's really cute. Ooh, pumpkin with a witch hat. More bats, we have this guy at home. That one's Tampa Jays. All these gates in here too, which is pretty neat. It's a big uh, set of them, skull fence. One's pretty neat, I like that. Ooh, and a bone, a big old plastic bone. There's a lot of possibilities with that too. That's a good find. They got a lot of cute stuff in here. This is a nice little lantern. They also have some pumpkins. These are heavy, really heavy. 
these ones aren't as heavy and they're getting in the pastels as well. Some more pumpkins in here, a little skeleton one. That's pretty cool. I've got a polka dot one. Here's some skulls with little roses on them. It's cute. Hands. You can always use some creepy hands. I'm gonna glow in the dark one in here too. Oh, and here's a pumpkin hanging guy. I think I like that one the best. And looks like a skull. A mossy skull inside of a bag so you can't see it very well but it's definitely a mossy skull. A lot more signs over in here that you can stick inside of your front lawn. Some really cute ones. I like the witch brooms up there too. They got some scarves that are really cute. Hanging skeleton in there. And the chains. Glow in the dark chain. That's a good find as well. Yeah, a lot of signs. They got you covered with the Halloween signs. This is for dang sure. Cool. Little skull lamp. That's cute. This is a good sign too. Little yard sake here. Beware. Oh, and these are fun. These little things that make sounds. These little stack of ghosts are super cute. There are little lights in here too. These have 10 of them. So if you only need a few lights, this is the place to go. Styrofoam skulls in here as well. These are also great for crafting. A lot of party supplies too. Ooh, these are always really cool. These uh, spider web bowls made out of plastic. Really cute. Plastic cups down in here. Ooh, these are cute. Little plastic containers, four pieces each. Oh, that's adorable. I really like that. That's a good find. I got a Days of the Dead purple one in the back there too. Molds as well. Little skull molds. Get these platters, Day of the Dead platters. That's also very nice. Very impressive. This is cool. This is a little spider bowl. A candy dish here. Get these goblets. Purple skeleton hand. A champagne glasses. Dude, that is legit. That is cool. And they got little cups, little tumblers as well. Oh my gosh. Look at this witch hat. Little tray. Oh man. That is cool. Someone tipped me off about this. These little LED projector lights are apparently really dang cool. This one shows a little tombstone scene there. There you go. Yeah, these, these look really cool. Some pumpkin teeth. You can put some teeth inside of your jack-o'-lantern. Nice. Spider webs. Little syringe party favors. Yeah, they got you covered for their part for, for a party. If you're doing a Halloween party. Cool. Got a neat container in here too. Look at the pumpkins. Tupperware. It's truly invaluable, especially spooky ones. Some carvable styrofoam pumpkins in here. I've legitimately never seen these before. That is really dang neat. Again, lots of craft projects to be had with these. Oh, and solar lights. Stakes you can put in front of your, in your front yard. Dude, once again, that is a good find. <laughs> If you know, you know. Some more stickers and just little random things in here. Cool. Oh, I like the wreath holders. The purple wreath holders in here are really cute. Some more things on this end cap as well. They've got some caution tape in here. Some cool caution tape. Little hanging ghosties in here. Little broomsticks. Party bulbs. Tombstones. Oh yes, and a lot of candy as well. We always joke, or Tampa Jay always jokes, that the dollar store is his candy store. He always comes here and grabs some candy. Well, they got Halloween candy in here for you too, including these cute little lollipops. Those are adorable. Hello everybody, Chris from the future. It's not a Chris the Girl vlog officially now. If I don't have to come in sometime in the future and correct a mistake. So, 
Um, I have, I recently bought a new microphone for my camera, which has been working out pretty good for the most part, but only if I work it properly, if I, if I use it properly, which I definitely did not do in parts in this video. The audio is a little shaky in this one and I do apologize. Um, I actually did all of my haul stuff, all of the things that I bought uh, throughout the video in here. Um, but every time I did that, uh, the audio sounds like poo. So um, that's what I get, I guess, for, for not uh, wanting to wait towards the end of the video to just do it all. But anyway, we're gonna do a good old fashioned haul here. Let me show you all what I got. I don't wanna not show you what I got because I got some really cute stuff. Um, so let's start with uh, Walmart. We'll start with Walmart. So I did get the peanut butter bats. Yes, spoiler alert, I, I opened them up. I did have a, cup, a couple of them. Peanut butter bats, Reese bats, these, uh, I look forward to these every single year. Well, not the bats, this is my first time having the bats, but like the pumpkins and the ghosts. Uh, it's one of my, it's, it's easily my favorite Halloween candy of them all, besides candy corn. Um, and then other than that, I got a lot of earrings. I mean, that was mainly, um, you know, the main thing that we saw was all of those really cute, like little accessories and stuff like that. So I'm super excited about these. Um, first of all, I got the little Frankenstein monster earrings. These are so dang cute. And one of the reasons why I like these, and um, I hope that this doesn't offend anybody out there, but they, they look like something that like a grandma would own. Like they look kind of, um, I don't know, like they, they just have that feel to them. I don't, I guess I don't quite know how to explain it, but they're just so dang cute. And um, I think that they're gonna be really adorable to wear. And I also did get this statement piece, these huge glow-in-the-dark skeleton dangly earrings. These are gonna be so cute. I am so excited to wear these and try them out. Um, and then I did, of course, get the set of three fall uh, earrings in here. The, the scarecrows is really what did it for me. Um, I was fawning over these a lot, so I don't think this is gonna be any surprise to anybody. Um, but I like the other earrings on there too. I like the little pumpkins and the little fall leaves. They're super adorable, so I'm excited about all of these. I Now I know, I've, I've been sleeping on Walmart earrings for too long now, and I refuse to do it any longer. So this is now gonna be my thing, <laughs> is uh, trying to find earrings at, at Walmart every year. So we're off to a good start. I'm really excited about these. And then uh, from the Dollar Tree, I got this uh, Tupperware piece that I showed. This is gonna be great for uh, hauling around cookies, brownies, baked goods, um, all, all kinds of stuff, so you know, Tupperware, especially Halloween Tupperware, I try to collect, I try to grab as much as I can because it's it's really invaluable. I mean, you can never have too much uh, Tupperware containers, in my opinion, and this one's really, really cute. All little pumpkins on there. And then finally from the Dollar Tree, yes, I did get the plastic witch hat. Of course I did. It is so dang cute, classic purple witch hat. This is gonna be great for that fictional Halloween party that I have built up in my head. <laughs> um, someday we're gonna have a Halloween party and it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait because we're building up all of the stuff for it. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be great. Uh, put some chips around here or cookies or brownies or whatever you want around the, the brim of the hat here. Super, 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 super dang cute. Um, I didn't say this enough in the video, so I'm kind of glad that I'm actually, um, I've processed everything and I've <laughs> edited basically everything up until this point. Um, because, you know, the stuff that we found today, I mentioned this once or twice in the video, the stuff that we found today, we found some really, really good stuff. Stuff that I haven't seen all season. And if you've been following the channel, then you know we've been going a lot of places this season so far. Um, so yeah, lots, lots of really cute 
things. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree, on, you know, the thrift stores and stuff like that because you can find some really um, good staple pieces. I like all of the plastic wear that we found today, those little plastic cauldrons. Um, all of the, I mean, a lot of stuff at the Dollar Tree was really, really good. Um, and that stuff is great too for like decorating cubicles. I say that all the time because that was literally my life at one point was decorating my cubicle when I worked in an office. Um, it's great for that, great for schools, you know, decorating um, schools if you work in a school or whatever. Um, yeah, just really good pieces. So don't think just because if you're on a budget or, um, you know, it's okay. There's plenty of stuff out there and it's really cool too. So I'm, I'm super excited for what we saw today and the pieces that I got. Also shameless plug here, but you might want to follow me once again on the social medias on, uh, Instagram. TikTok, for some reason I can never remember the name of TikTok. I'm trying to do more TikToks. I'm trying to do more short little videos um, of this Halloween stuff here. I just did one today, actually. Um, so shameless plug there, find me on the TikToks. But um, I went to Target earlier and I did finally grab me some Count Chocula. I finally saw it in the reel and it's mine. So I'm very excited about this. It's gonna go directly in my cauldron bowl. And um, yeah, the search is over. So very happy about that. And also I did grab a mug. That was what my whole TikTok was about, was checking out the new Halloween mugs at Target. They had some adorable ones. And of course I had to grab one. I actually went with the little little pumpkin guy here because I just think it is super dang cute. Only $5 too, so not too shabby. Anyway, um, I did do a outro in the, in the video here. So I'll go ahead and bring you back on over to present day Chris and enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. Basically Halloween shopping on a budget here. Um, I've had a number of people request me do something like this or at least go to Dollar Tree, etc., etc. go thrift shopping, all of that stuff. Um, I We're gonna do more, okay? We're gonna do more of that in the future, both again for Halloween as well as just in the future in general because I really do love antiquing and and stuff like that so stay tuned if you like this sort of thing I know a lot of the stores that we go to um, are more on the expensive side uh, or somewhere in between so I'm, I'm glad that I was able to finally finally do this um, you know we all have different budgets out there we all have different likes and tastes and opinions etc uh, so I want to do my best to showcase all of that um, as much as much as possible so if you have a store that I haven't gone to yet you would like me to go to leave me a comment down below and um, I'll do my best to get over there keep in mind there's still a lot of stores out there that haven't put their Halloween stuff out yet that trust me I'm keeping an eye on any day now any day now um, anyway <laughs> We, we will get there and we'll also go back to Walmart too because clearly they did not have all of their Halloween stuff out so that will be later on as well. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I surely do appreciate it. Uh, as I keep saying, we have a lot of stuff coming up here really soon. So super, super excited about it. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Happy Halloween everybody. Thank you again for watching the video and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye everybody. Happy Halloween.